if you need to go 12 and 0, complete domination, Evo cards, and other grinding services, go contact Rose NBA on Twitter. Link for that will be in the description. If you want cheap and reliable NBA 2K21 MT, go contact safembamt.com and use code WITNESS for a 5% discount. Yo, what's going on, guys? Witness 2K back on NBA 2K21, my team, on the next gen console right now. And we're going to go through sort of the auctions, see what the price is prices of some cards are doing after we got these season two super packs these season two super packs literally have every pink diamond and diamond card amethyst whatever we have gotten throughout season two and there's a lot of nice cards like anthony davis even these limited cards which i don't necessarily agree with you know like vince carter lebron james and james harden they were limited and we all thought that they were only going to be there for um the Halloween and that was it but they are back now so we're gonna go through see what cards will be worth picking up now if you guys want those types of cards you know some of them are still really expensive but compared to the prices they were 24 hours ago they're a lot cheaper and there's also a new code we're gonna go through and uh, type in in this video as well so make sure you guys do go ahead subscribe to the channel right now with your notification bell turned on and drop this video a like right now to get it started now I have not opened, I did not make a pack opening video, you know, I'm just, I'm not with buying VC at the moment, like it's just, it just doesn't feel worth it with the cards that are available, but um, yeah, these cards have dipped in price a lot, so if you do, if you have been waiting for one of these pink diamonds to go down in price, now's probably your time, they will get cheaper as better cards come out, more super packs and things like that, but if you're ready to buy, now could very possibly be the time for that. Starting it off with these uh, possessed packs now, these possessed cards, these cards are still really expensive. You see like this Vince Carter right here, doesn't expire for another two hours. So these cards are obviously not that common in the packs, but there are a lot more on the auction house than um, what there was. Like you'd be lucky if there was like two to three of these up. So there is a lot more, still super expensive, but some of these cards, like they were selling for a million plus at a time. Like LeBron James right here, 300K for this one right here, still two and a half hours to go, but some people did do some panic selling and things like that. Still not many on the auction, but a lot more than what there was, again, 24 hours ago And James Harden. So his auction's running out, six minutes to go, and looks like you can get him for under 400K, which is still hella expensive, but again, a lot cheaper than he was. There's a lot of James Harden's up actually, but a lot cheaper than he was, you know, 24 hours ago. So if you're looking at picking out one of these cards, now's the time to do it. Now you can take advantage of this, you know, say if you wanted to pick up LeBron James, say you spent five to 600K MT on this card, which is so much MT, if you've got that MT, you could pick him up and resell him in, two to three days maybe, you know, when these packs have gone, when there's less LeBron James in the auction house, put a diamond shoe, diamond contract on him, resell him and try and get a million MT from it. It's definitely possible, you know, if, um, if you feel as though that his price will go up. Now we have this Anthony Davis and Luca car, which are some of the newer diamonds, pink diamonds that come out. You could probably try your luck at sniping an Anthony Davis. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if someone put one up for 100k, buy it now. I mean, he's just selling for just over 100k. Luca, Luca is a buy it now. Now, I'm pretty sure he was not a buy it now beforehand. So I wanna see how cheap Luca actually goes. So you can actually get Luca, if you're lucky, you can get him for under 90k. And this is a really solid pink diamond card. I use this Luca. It's not as good as last year. Some people could agree with me, some may not, but uh, a Luca, Pink Diamond Luca. His price very possibly could go. If we don't see another Luca card for a long time, like an, another Pink Diamond or a Galaxy Opal for another couple of months, when this card thins out on the auction, I mean, it's Luca magic, man. I mean, his price could definitely go above that 100K again. Another card that is really good and selling for really cheap right now is Brandon Roy. I think I've seen him for like 60K, which is ridiculous because he's, if you've used that Brandon Roy, man, you'll know how good he is. You can get him for like 60K. Like this is such a good card. This, this Brandon Roy right here has a diamond shoe on him that does his driving layup to a 97, mid-range to a 96. 
uh, rebounding, which is really not going to be used, but that is so cheap for a card that is seriously so good. Brandon Roy has one of the smoothest jump shots. He's up there for like top 10 jump shots in the game, in my opinion, along with cards like Kevin Durant and things like that. But Brandon Roy, really nice jump shot, and he's selling for really cheap. I think this card, I mean, if you've played 2K for a while, man, 2K19, we got a Diamond Brandon Roy. I don't know if you guys remember this Diamond Brandon Roy card. Um, it was just a diamond, and when he thinned out on the auction, man, he was selling for the craziest amounts of MT. Now, could that happen again? Probably not, but something like that could happen where if you pick up cheap Brandon Roy's like this, um, when they start to thin out on the auction house, because this is Flash 1, man, it's very unlikely to see it, this super pack Brandon Roy be obtainable again for a very long time. So who knows, man? Who knows? This card could skyrocket as well. Now we have Idols players right here. Manu Ginobili is a card that has gotten really cheap as well. I mean, he's pretty good. If you've used this card, you'll know. Um, not the best card in the game, but for his price, you know, he's selling for around that 60K mark as well. You could probably get lucky getting for under 60K. But, brand, uh, but uh, what's his name? Manu Ginobili. Really, really, really solid card. Grand Hill, who is amazing, he's still selling for a bit. I can't remember what his price was 24 hours ago, but if he's cheaper, you know, he could go up, man. I mean, if he can play shooting guard, he is a 6'8 shooting guard, absolute clamp guard, can shoot, do all that. So um, his price could definitely go up as well, especially when we find out what the reward is for the idols. Um, for the idols reward so hopefully 2k give us a nice reward for that and dominic wilkins i think he might be see he's he's close to a buy it now as well you could snipe a dominic wilkins for 100k for sure as well and again he's a he's a great card as well this dominic wilkins back to possessed right now we have tracy mcgrady now t mac his price surprised me i thought this t mac was going to absolutely blow up once he was out of pack um and he was selling for like 300k plus and if you can pick one up for 200k this is tracy mcgrady you've got to remember this is t mac when it comes to 2k this man is the king of it speaking of good jump shots as well anyone can be an absolute green machine with tracy mcgrady cards now if you think of last year pink diamond tracy mcgrady um when the pink diamond Tracy McGrady on the, what was it? I can't remember the set, what was it called? Not the, whatever the idol set was last year, the, not the anniversary, what was it called? The Prime Series, I, I forgot what that set was called, but Prime Series. Pink diamond Tracy McGrady blew up in price. We definitely, you know, this, this card right here could get its value destroyed, but pink diamond Tracy McGrady last year kept his value all year round and the same thing could happen with this possessed card right here and if you want to lock in sets for a card like david cohen's you know definitely a good time to do that as well amari stadamite is cheap cheap he's one of the cheaper pink diamonds you can pick up he's all right it's not too bad either but um especially if you want to get challenges done try and get that blade griffin because this season is nearly up it is nearly season three if you wanted to spend the mt and go for jr smith you know, you could, you definitely could do that. Um, these cards are cheaper, still expensive. I mean, something like a Pink Diamond J.R. Smith, you know, is what is going to keep value of a lot of cards like this Pink Diamond Joker. Um, he's definitely cheaper than he was, but um, yeah, Pink Diamond J.R. Smith is a crazy card. Paul Millsap, you know, it's pretty much going to be this one card, right? There's going to be one card in every set that is gonna be the one that takes majority of the MT, like for this set right here. It is the Joker, everything else reasonably cheap though. Same thing with the loyalty. John Havlicek, not, he's actually not really that expensive. You know, you can find him for reasonably cheap. You know, there is like a 70, I did see one for 75K, but then there'll be like a car like this D-Rob who is also holding his value as well. So, you know, it can be expensive to lock in a set like this, but it all depends if you want that JR Smith because it is cheaper to get JR Smith now than it was 24 hours ago. So whether you want to buy cards now that are going for cheap that you think could go up in price, whether it be a possessed LeBron James, Vince Carter, James Harden, a Tracy McGrady, a Brandon Roy or something like that, if you think that card could go up in price, um, it's a good time to buy it now because super packs always damage the value. You know, they always make the, the, the 
auction house crash, make everything a little bit cheaper. Even if you want to go pick up a bunch of Diamond Russell Westbrooks hypothetically and sell them later as well, you could make some solid MT on that. But this is just a tip for you guys that you can use if you also believe that it could work, but if you don't want it, I totally understand. But we're gonna go into um, a locker code now. And here's the code up on the screen, guys. It is my team season two super pack. For a guaranteed pack, you can get an east or west tip-off pack, a draft pack, possessed, idols, grand hill, or a flash three. Pretty sweet code, guys. So make sure you do subscribe to the channel with your notification bell turned on and drop this video a like right now. So you guys never miss out on any lock codes. I make lock code videos all the time. You'll never miss out on a lock code if you are sub to this channel right here. We're gonna go into this locker code right now. Make sure you guys let me know what you land. Let me know what pack you got. Let me know what you were able to land from said pack as well. We're gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it on this right side here to see if we can get the uh, possessed pack. Maybe we can clutch something like a could you possibly get the LeBron, Vince Carter, or James Harden from that pack if you're hella lucky? I mean, you could get a T-Mac, of course. We're close, yes. Oh, god damn, we were so close to the Possessed pack. But now it's gotta start again. I don't know why 2K make it, make it like this. They should just make it so it doesn't reset. Can we head to that pink reward? What's blue? I mean, I'd take a flash three, that wouldn't be too bad. Come on, come on, give it to me. Don't make me reset, yeah, that's... This is just getting annoying now. This is just annoying now. Can you just land? I'll take anything. We might actually land possessed again. What's green? Idols, that's not too bad. At least it didn't reset. I'll take an idols pack. If we can clutch a pink diamond grand hill, that would be crazy. Come on, show me a pink diamond grand hill. Imagine pulling pink diamond grand hill right now. The chances are so low. Nothing's shaking for us. We're just gonna flip it. We get a bronze. I hope you guys had better luck than I did. That is gonna wrap up this video though, guys. Wanted to go through the auction house, see what's looking like it's on the cheaper side, what could go up in price, um, and show you guys that new locker code as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you are subscribed with your notification bell turned on and drop this video a like right now. Shout out of the video goes to Dukan Battle Adrian. Shout out to you bro for commenting, I appreciate you. But I'll catch you guys all in the next upload. It's been witnessed.